We're already seeing freezing rain and some sleet out there, continuing to see it in the I-35 corridor as well as east of I-35. Only this small portion in the Brazos Valley is where we're seeing the plain old rain. We're also starting to see some sleet picking up for our top northwestern portions, mainly getting a break in places like Hamilton and Gulfway. But all in all, it's going to be a very busy day with this winter storm. We are now in day three of our winter storm warning and it has been extended even further out by just a couple of hours now set to expire at nine o'clock tomorrow. An ice storm warning has gone into effect at the top of the hour that is also going to expire for Thursday. This is only for a small portion of our viewing area. Bosque, Hamilton and Mills County Comanche was already included in that ice storm warning that was issued with some northern parts of Texas including the DFW Metroplex. Road conditions for today will continue to be hazardous for all of Central Texas. Though where this ice storm warning is in effect, trees will be a will be of concern as well as snapped power lines as accumulations are going to be a bit higher in those counties. Mainly what we have been seeing is that freeze that freeze over on those higher elevated surfaces, including our sky camera. It's been frozen over here since at least Monday afternoon, and we'll continue to see that as we go into the rest of your Wednesday. Now with this additional freezing rain, it is only going to make conditions worse on those higher elevated surfaces, but also create some icy slick spots even on the main road with patchy ice, some black ice is going to be possible as well throughout your Wednesday morning and into your Wednesday afternoon. As we enter the afternoon, this freezing rain transitions just to plain rain for the Brazos Valley. For the rest of us, we are still going to see below freezing temperatures. I think we're actually going to struggle to even hit the freezing mark for highs today. As we head into your Wednesday evening, we get lighter freezing grain, so not as much pummeling down, but that's not all just yet. We get our last final round of this freezing grain as we head into your Wednesday night into your Thursday morning, and we're going to start to see temperatures rise slightly above that freezing mark, which is going to help that freezing rain transition just to plain old showers as we head into closer to mid morning on your Thursday. A few thunderstorms are also going to be possible, especially for our eastern zones, and by the time we get into around 830, we're going to see most of this just plain old rain. This is by the time that uh, when Winter storm warning is set to expire, and as you see, most of the activity east of I-35 and in the Brazos Valley, just some light freezing rain to our northwestern portions, doesn't stick around for much longer. We finally wave goodbye to the freezing precipitation by the time we get to about 1030 and we'll get back to those above freezing temperatures for the afternoon. High still going to be in the 30s, so still going to be a cold one, but a cloudy picture. A couple of spotty showers tomorrow, but road conditions will improve as those temperatures warm above the freezing point for today. However, keep in mind this is day three. It is our last full day of this winter storm warning. Still going to want to avoid travel, drive slowly and avoid those bridges and overpasses. We aren't done just yet, but we are getting to the tail end of this system. Sunshine is on the way for your Friday.